we're in the North Sea on a British longliner targeting cod. North Sea cod stocks are doing a little better. In 2005, this endangered stock was the first to benefit from a recovery plan covering several years, developed at European level. But the recently observed signs of recovery should not hide the reality of the situation. North Sea cod is still overexploited. As we can see from this graph, fishing mortality remains significant. For decades, catches have removed over 50% of the population every year and are dominated by immature juveniles. Consequently, the cod population is decreasing and is currently well below the level scientists recommend should be maintained in the sea. In its green paper calling for a reform of the common fisheries policy, the Commission draws attention to this situation. Cod is by no means an exceptional case. Nine out of ten fish stocks exploited in the waters of the European Union are exploited beyond their capacity to regenerate. This is what is known as overfishing. We still have significant problems when it comes to overfishing. Most of the uh, fish stocks in community waters are overfished and we have significant problems with regard to overcapacity. In other words, we have too many vessels that are chasing too few fish. And we need to address this problem urgently because otherwise the situation can never be turned around. The result is smaller and smaller catches and an unsustainable exploitation of the marine ecosystem. For fishermen, this means lower income, even losses, which make them dependent on state support and vulnerable to certain types of crisis, like that of fuel prices. This is exacerbated by their inability to ensure a regular supply to the market, which has deprived them of all influence in the fixing of selling prices. Indeed, as the production of European fisheries has constantly decreased over the past half century, European consumption of sea products depends increasingly on imports, which represent two-thirds of today's market. The main priority of the common fisheries policy reform is to put an end to the overcapacity of the fleet in order to end overexploitation and re-establish the viability of the sector. To launch the reform, the Commission has just published its green paper. In it, the Commission paints a less than optimistic picture of the current situation. In its search for solutions, it asks not only for the opinion of actors within the sector, but also that of all European citizens. For it's clear that each of us can have relevant input on the issue. It is through this consultation that we hope to address issues which are very relevant. For example, how to reduce capacity, how to eliminate uh, discarding of fish, uh, how to involve and responsabilize uh, the fishers themselves even more through, for example, results-based management. These are the issues, amongst others, that we need to address if we can hope to have a uh, sustainable stock and therefore a sustainable fishery. The European Commission has made a promise. There will be no taboo subjects in the consultation process, which will last till the end of 2009. Fisheries affect fishermen, but also consumers and the environment. All aspects of the common fisheries policy must be dealt with if this sector is to have a future in Europe. That's why the Commission is asking for the opinion of organizations and citizens interested in fishing, seafood and the health of our oceans.